When exporting to leads, there are a few areas you will want to set up depending on your requirements from your client. First, click your name at the top right and select Settings. From there, go to your System tab and click Edit Settings. Check the box next to Enable Leads File Export, then fill in your federal taxpayer ID. You have the option to check Enable ABA Standard Codes, which activates the UTBMS Standard Codes for all clients in the account. Only turn this option on if you want the ABA codes to be used for all or for the majority of your clients and projects in the system. Once you're finished, click Save. While you're under your settings still, click User Management so you can edit your employees. Once you click Edit, you will have the leads file settings like Timekeeper ID and Classification. If your lead software requires this information, you can fill this out here and click Save once finished. Lastly, you have your client and project set up to go through. Go to Clients and click on a client to edit. Here you can set up your ABA codes on a per client basis. So if you kept the ABA codes off in your settings, you can turn them on specifically for the clients that require them. This way, you will only be required to choose them for these few clients that require exporting. If your lead software has a specific client ID and client project ID, you can fill this in here. If you build multiple projects under your client, you can edit the project to fill in their client project ID per project instead. Once you're finished, click Save. Once you create an invoice, you will see an Export button at the top. The standard file that most companies use is the Leads 98B file. However, you will see other Leads options depending on the company you choose. If the company requires further information, you can fill those out, and once you're finished, click Export. From there, save the export to your computer, and then you can upload that file to your lead software. Thank you for watching the Leads Exporting tutorial, and continue watching for the next quick tip video.